Hello YouTube, so today we're going to be going over the Crusadia Danger Thunder Dragon deck. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I don't really have much else to say, so uh, let's get right into it. Uh, starting off with the monsters, we play one Bigfoot, one Duo, two Ogre Dance, one Foxy Tune, two Ogre Pogo, three Nessie, two Roar, one Hawk, one Dianote, uh, which is in the OCG, uh, you should note that. Um, I think it's, it's in a special box or something, so it is going to, it might take a while to come over to the TCG. Three uh, OG Thunder Dragon, two Dark, one Collapse Serpent, one Wyvern Burster, one Draco, uh, one Tsukinoko, three Ziarman, one Jackalope, three Reclusia, two Matrix, one Gold Sarcophagus, one Fusion, three Chaos Space, and three Emergency Teleport. That is it for the main uh, for the main deck. Moving on to the extra deck, extra deck where we have two Titan, one Chaos Ruler, one Boral Sword, a Skull Dryden, um, one Appaloosa, a Unicorn, Phoenix, Ivy Mascarina, Verde Anaconda, Hieratic Sphere, Pisty, Striker Dragon, Link Rebo, and Persidia Magius. So going into the ratios, you know, let's go through the extra deck first. Going, in th going into the ratios of the extra deck, we play two um, a Titan because it is recurable and you do the, the extra deck is pretty tight. It's not the tightest, but it is definitely tight enough to where you want you only want to play two instead of three. Some people choose to play um, a one, and I I think that one of the things that makes this deck so good is that it, is its recurability. And so yeah, you could play the chaos spit, the chaos um, creator, but I don't think that is a particularly um, good card in this in the you know in this particular deck uh chaos ruler is uh through using the punk engine um and it is very good because you're able to mill your cards uh, and yeah get additional resource advantage off of that um your boral sword is for um uh otkang your opponent sorry you guys for the combos not really combos but you know hands the really good ones uh, Appaloosa is for um, ne more ne additional negates. Uh, Unicorn and Phoenix are for breaking boards. IP Mascarina is for a ne negate or just to you know set up is so that um, some of your cards can't be uh, destroyed. I believe. Uh, yeah. Um, Verde Anaconda is to make Titan. Hieratic Sphere is for when you have Saryuja out and you can afterwards make Hieratic Sphere. Uh, Pisty is for your, you know, just typical combos. Um, you know, sometimes it comes up, sometimes it doesn't. Striker Dragon is for when you have Chaos Space and you really need, and you have uh, access to Titan with your Thunder Monsters in the graveyard, but no way to um, really do anything else. Um, Link Rebo is for the really bad hands when you just have Matrix and your opponent has like Impermed and Ash Dew. And yeah, <laughs> uh, hasn't uh, couldn't possibly have happened before. Crusadia Magius is for the uh, uh, getting the Draco uh, Draco out of the deck and that kind of stuff. So going on into the main deck, um, we play eight Danger Monsters. I wanted to play nine, but the, I really wanted to play a forty card deck, and. Um, Especially because we're cutting back on the amount of uh, Thunder Monsters. And so uh, we were only able to play 8. However, if you do choose to play a 40 card de 45 card deck, which is definitely a good possibility with this deck. Um, especially because it would uh, decrease the amount of bricks you have in the deck. Um, I would say uh, you could play another Ogopogo, which probably seems weird but it can um it fuels your graveyard for you know your chaos dragon plays and especially if you play like levy and other chaos monsters it's gonna uh it's even better for your graveyard and i think that this card this card is essentially just another a way a way to like not like, like lose materials necessarily um so yeah and then bigfoot of course pops things uh, nessie searches your monsters 
Suki Noko special summons itself back in Jackalope specials a danger from your deck. Um, yeah, pretty self-explanatory, very powerful and good engine. Um, I'm going to get to the Thunder Monster Thunder lineup probably last. So we are then going to talk about the Punk engine. And this is one of my favorite engines that I've ever played. I absolutely love this engine. There's so much you can do with it. Um, having said that, again, you are going to have a uh, D-Note, which hasn't actually come out in the TCG yet, unfortunately. But I think uh, the rest of, like, the ceiling of the engine is just so good that, like, when when this card eventually comes out, this is going to be a very powerful engine. And, and to some degree, it already is through Cherubini. But, um, yeah, so, so the main combo is that you get, uh, you normal summon or special summon Z-Armin, which is going to search Foxy Tune. Foxy Tune is going to pitch itself in another card to special summon Dianote, and then you're going to make your Chaotic Ruler. Dianote will tr also trigger to special summon back one of your punk monsters so that your Chaos Ruler is actually, uh, chain blocked. So it's a pretty good combo, um, and you only have to play two bricks, you know, Bricks are rough, but uh, it's, you know, it, Foxy Tune isn't really a brick. Um, and as long as you have uh, the, another, like, they, they're both not really bricks as long as you have uh, punk cards in your hand. Uh, but yeah, you play eight ways to get uh, to, or six ways to get, five five ways to get to Sea Armin, uh, three e Telly and two Ogre Dance. Um, the reason that you choose to play two Z Armin or three Z Armin instead of two, um, uh, and two Ogre Dance instead of three Ogre Dance and two Z Armin is because if you get drolled, you can still go through your chaotic magical dragon combo. Whereas if you get drolled after Ogre Dancing, you can't actually go through. And another tech card you can't you do have is uh, Dark Spirit um, Spirit's Mastery, which can search the Ogre Dance. The problem with that card in this particular deck is that you have to discard another card. And so when you're in this kind of deck, while it does seem kind of dumb because you'd be like, yeah, you, you want to pitch your Thunder Monsters. Well, you can. You, there are a variety of other ways to do, to do that, and sometimes you just want to have them in your hand anyways. So um, it's not it's not that you know good. And besides, you're already going to pitch one off of Foxy Tune. So... Uh, that just makes it so that you have to uh, discard two cards instead of one. Um, so that's why uh, we're not using that card for the moment. So yeah, you play eight ways to get to this engine. Very good. Uh, very strong engine. Uh, moving on, we have the Crusadia engine. Um, this is a fun engine. It isn't... Uh, I don't know how you know, typically how great it is in the current meta, but this is directly from Jesse Cotton's list. Um, in 2019, so, you know, it's been a few years, but it's, it's a fun, uh, little engine. You get to, uh, normal summon it, uh, special Magius, uh, when you special something to his own Magius points to, you can add Draco, Draco can get you into your, um, dragon combos and that kind of stuff, uh, and also add you back a resource. Uh, not only that, but your Crusadia monsters can also special summon themselves from your hand. Um, so that means that they aren't really bricks either. Um, it's a, yeah, so it's, it's a very powerful engine. Uh, after that, the, uh, second to last engine we're playing is the Chaos Engine, because, uh, it fits very nicely with your Thunder Engine, especially after discarding them, and, I mean, it's just an amazing advantage engine. You, you have to play this in any Thunder deck you play. Um, the, uh, next card is Goldsark, just to get this one out of the way. Banish the Thunder Monster from your deck. That's all it says. Um, Duo is going to be able to... Um, it's it's just a Chaos Monster that you can search through Chaos Space or Dark. Um, and yeah, you can get add back resources that you can um, uh, add a Thunder Monster from your deck to your hand. Uh, yeah, it's, it's mostly just a Chaos Monster, a big uh, beater, that kind of stuff. Two Roar and two Dark. And you'd be kind of surprised about this. Well, you know, why would you play two Roar and two Dark instead of like three three like I normally do? You're going to be discarding a lot of cards, but you don't really want to brick on these um, because uh, there it's it's a very tight deck list. So um, minimizing the number of bricks um, and realistically in this particular deck that are bricks uh, is going to be uh, good. Uh, three 
OG because it is going to help you get you Thunder Monsters in your graveyard to heal for Titan and to pop cards on your opponent's turn or um, to break your opponent's board on your turn, that kind of stuff. Hawk because, uh, you know, Reborn is good, especially after you've discarded it with the danger. Uh, Matrix because this is your disruption with Titan and Fusion to get you to Titan. Um, yeah. Uh, I'll show you a few combos, I guess. Playable and one time I must clicked because I am a dumb. Um, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunate. This one looks like it's gonna be good though. If if we don't miss a click, <clears throat> please don't miss a click. Um, then this hand is going to be very good. One of the better ones that I've seen. Pro actually, probably the best hand I've seen. Chain link one, chain link two. That is the interaction I was talking about um, before. Uh, Bigfoot, Ogopogo. Pogo. If you see uh, fusion, yeah, that's just rough. If you see fusion, I don't even know what to say. That's just rough. Um, no, that doesn't that doesn't actually do anything. Um, so I think we just go like this. Add. Sorry, Yuja for four. No, crazy, right? Sorry, Yuja in 2022. 20, one, two, three, four. Oh my. That is stacked. That is crazy. Okay, um. So we definitely don't need that. We definitely don't need that. Um. What is the third one we want to take out? Um. All of these are like extenders, though. They're all such good extenders. Um. rough, but uh, it's definitely not the best card in the hand, I don't think. Special this as well. You can actually make a Hieratic Sphere. Oh man, this is going to be crazy. Um, I don't even know what to do. We have, what, we have one, two, three... Four extenders. Four extenders. How? Four extenders and three monsters on the board. How are we going to get rid of all this? Um, okay, so we want... So, one, two, three maybe? That's six. Oh, wait. We have another one with... Oh, dude. This hand is sick. How are we even going to... Um, let's start off with this. Wait, can you banish cards from your hand? Hand or graveyard? That is so funny. I love that. Okay, we're going to add duo here, actually. Surprising choice, but it will make sense next turn. With the follow-up. Okay. Main Hyrax Sphere. Uh, let's go. Let's see where we are after this. I mean, I'm sure we could make an Appaloosa if we wanted to. Um, Appaloosa and. Honestly, we could probably make both. I'm not even going to lie. Appaloosa. Well, not because of. You know, we can't actually because of link arrows, but it'd be cool. Um, let's try to get one more thing on board. Uh, I think we saved this, these three for next turn. So let's go like this. Um, and then IP Masquerina. That's going to allow us to get a um, an Appaloosa that is indestructible. 
And then we can go like this. And draw brick. <laughs> okay, well, eh, never, never punished. But yeah, um, and then for the last thing, we are going to end off with that. That is not bad. That's not bad at all. I mean, you have a bounce, um, a three negate Appaloosa, and a pop. That's pretty good. And a follow up. And like five cards in hand. Started with five cards in hand. Ended with five cards in hand. How crazy is that? I don't know. After, what was it? Four bad takes. Um, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, yeah, this, this definitely isn't the most competitive deck. Um, however, um, I think it's definitely one of the most fun that I've ever had. Once again, here's the deck list. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.